All right guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to do some much overdue chainsaw chain maintenance. Um, this is something you probably should do every time before you use the saw, but if you're like me, you just get in a hurry, you figure the chain was fine last time, and then you start cutting your wood. Today we noticed that when we started cutting the wood that um, it was cutting crooked, like on a diagonal. It was kind of pulling and um so it would kind of cut like this so we're gonna take a chance take a moment to inspect the chain real quick and then we're going to um probably have to change the chain depending on how bad it is so basically let's get head on on this so we're going to inspect all the teeth real quick so as you can see this one's on 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 so then if we spin it So then it was this one, this one's good, this one's good, this one's good, this one's missing. So see how the top, so see how this one has the, uh, I don't know if you can see, so you can see this one's got both the top piece and the side piece on there. And then this one's missing, this one's missing the top piece, it's just the side piece, see? So then this one's also missing. So see how there's no top piece like on this one? So if we keep looking, then this one's broke off too. So that's four, five, six. This one's completely gone. So there's about, I think there's seven. seven there's seven teeth missing. So we're going to change the chain real quick. Um, let's see if we can show you how to do that. So with the Husqvarna 120i battery powered chainsaw, which is what I have, the way you um, get the chain off is you don't even need any tools. All right, so basically all you need to do, you don't need any tools, is you just need to loosen this part. Loosen this, and then I take the, try to take the tension off the chain too while I'm at it. So you can see the bars loosening up, the chains loosening up, and then you just unscrew this with your hand, and then this whole piece comes off. So then now that you have that off, if you just push this back, you should be able to peel the chain off. And then you can you can take the bar right off. It's usually a good idea if you ever take your chainsaw apart to clean this part out see how all the dust is in there that makes it so that um the bar oil may not get to your chain very well so i'm gonna grab my little tool for that the way i clean it out is i just use a regular paintbrush and then you can just kind of brush all that stuff off of there sometimes you may need a hard tool like a scraper or something to get that off but usually if you just hit it a couple different directions a couple different times Usually this stuff will come right out of there. And then you really want to make sure you get all of it out of there the best you can. Okay. And the cool thing is, is once you get done, it's like brand new again. So lucky for me, I already stopped at the store. Um, and this is a different chain. This is the chain that they gave to me for the for the chainsaw. They said it's supposed to fit. Here's the specs on it. There we go. And it is an Oregon chain, as you can see. So it better be the right one, because I actually asked the person. So, But um, you can pick these up on Amazon. I'll leave a link down in the description below um, that you can click, and they'll send it right to your house. It is an affiliate link, so I do get a little bit of a commission if you do buy some, so that helps the channel out. The good news is, is it doesn't cost anything extra for you. Let me clean the table up real quick, so we don't want to get our new chain dirty. And then make sure you clean the bar off too. Sweep that right on the floor. And then the other thing you also want to clean is the inside of this, because this gets pretty gummed up also. So then the one thing when you put your chain on is you want to remember the way you want your teeth to go, okay? So the picture's on the, 
the guard not actually on the chainsaw it would be smarter to put it right there but they put it on the uh the guard here so we want to make sure the teeth are pointing i mean this may be obvious to some people but we want the teeth pointing this way we'll put the bar on and I just hope the sharpener I bought works for this chain too, because it is an Oregon and the, I got a Husqvarna sharpener. Let me scoot this back so you can see what I'm doing. So then you basically just got to try to get it so the, the chain's riding in here like it's supposed to. My only recommendation would be is when you buy your chainsaw, you might as well buy like three or four chains right when you buy your chainsaw so you don't end up needing a... A chain not having one because you're gonna need a chain eventually so so then basically you just put this on there make sure it's lined up and then screw her together there we go and then once you get it screwed together adjust the tension on it to your liking and then you finish tightening this down all the way so then we got it all hooked up so now we can go test it out to see if it cuts straight now. Wozers, that's pretty, that, that is a mean, mean chain. That is way better. So yeah, so if you see this, that's that's the difference. This is straight. This is not straight. Um, but yeah, dude, that is one crazy chain, man. So hope you enjoyed the video and um, hope this helps you out. And remember, if you want an Oregon chain for your Husqvarna chainsaw, you can uh, click the link down in the description below. Thanks for watching.